you back in Dallas. It's been a number of years. I've got some of my favorite equipment around and favorite friends. It's really, really an incredible time as well, apropos for what's coming down the pipeline. It's never been as good as it is right now. We've never had the opportunities that we have right now. We've never had food like we have right now. This is the greatest time ever to be alive. And we are the heir to all the ages in the foremost ranks of all time. So I want to thank Chad Ashley Vandenberg for bringing me here because it was his um, request which really brought me here. Thank you, Chad. And thank you to and thank you to Maria and Devin for saying yes. Yeah. How about that? There is a revolution afoot, and it's a superhero revolution where we realize that if it's going to be, it's up to me. Whose fault is it? We're going to have to deal with it, right? And so we're going to make it happen. And the best way we can do that is we're going to have to simplify all the technology, all the diet technology, all the personal development technology, the success technology, and bring it right down to what is digestible for all of us all the time. That is where superfoods come in. I've been a student of success technology since I was 14 years old. My mom dragged me to a summer camp. I didn't want to go, I was 14, 1984. <laughs> August of 1984, and I spent 10 days in Bear Valley, California with a, a group called Super Camp. <laughs> It was terrible until I got into it. And it was speed reading, accelerated learning technologies. The last day we spent with Tony Robbins. Oh. I've known Tony Robbins personally for 25 years. Well, this was before he was a nothing. He was nothing back then. And we spent the day with him. We broke boards and we did the firewalk thing and all that kind of stuff. 1984. You saw what happened to him. Anyway, it's really amazing. Every event that we do now, every retreat that we do, he sends people to my events. You know, to have that support is really incredible and impressive. And it, it feels so good in my heart because he's been such an inspiration to myself and probably to many of you as well. Anyway, as a student of success technology, since that time, since that summer camp, what's happened is, is for me, it's always been about how do we make it easier, simpler. We have not only the technology, but we know how to make it easier for everybody. And what arose out of that are two things. Today is the best day ever. Today is the best day ever. Why? Because that summarizes all of that. If you put that to work right when we got up at 444 this morning <laughs> in San Francisco, actually in Marin County, to come out over here. If you put that to work, how do we make today the best day ever? It's amazing what your brain will come up with to make today the best day ever. And it summarizes the essence, the essential factors of what success is all about, which is a state of consciousness, a feeling that you have. And then you add on to that, well, how do I accelerate all of this information about diet? Because we've never been more deluged with more dietary information than right now. More than ever before. And here's how we simplify it. And it's, it's 15 years of work as a raw foodist in the world. How do we take that knowledge and those gifts and deliver it to the brand new? The people who've never heard of any of this. How do we simplify all of this for everybody? And that's where Superfoods came in. And Superfoods is like the greatest discovery ever. Because what it allows is anybody to immediately access the greatest foods in the history of the world. The great gifts of the greatest civilizations. Aloe vera was gifted to us by the Egyptians. I remember one day discovering that, reading that, coming to a feeling of, wow, they gave us the pyramids and aloe vera. <laughs> I can't eat a pyramid. <laughs> Chinese civilization and all the gifts that they've given us. And what is number one? 5,000 years of history, 8,000 food herbs, and the number one thing is the goji berry. Anybody can eat it. That's what I love about it. Kids like it. Grandma, she's loving it, right? Goji berry tea. 
You want a little trick to play on your kids, right? Get them to get some herbal tea in their body. You just throw goji berries in there and just rounds out all of those rough edges. And they go, oh, this tastes good. And then you blend the great gift that was given to us by Mexican civilization. Mexico City, the greatest city in the history of the world. Cacao, chocolate. They used cacao beans as money, as currency. It was their currency to be replaced by the peso in 1887. That recently, folks. It was, right, their money was chocolate. <laughs> the cacao bean is what chocolate's made out of, and it's not a bean, it's a nut. And it's the most widely eaten nut in the world that nobody eats. And that gift, we get to blend that with our goji berry tea, and we can have a hot chocolate all of a sudden. It's all real. All the best ingredients. And we go down to South America, Incan civilization, and they're delivering up and serving us up maca, the ginseng of South America. It's actually in the broccoli family. I like when Chad kind of bashed broccoli a little bit. <laughs> People say, how come you don't talk about broccoli anymore? <laughs> You weren't there for those 10 years when I did whole lectures, three hours on celery. <laughs> hours on broccoli. People were turning green in the audience. I like broccoli, I like celery, but it is not a goji berry. It is not, it's not cacao, it's not chocolate. If you wanna to touch the hearts of billions of people, let's take something that everybody knows about and re-deliver it in a form that's never been available before. The real food, which is the raw chocolate, which has all the goodies in it, all the magnesium you could ever want, all the chromium you could ever want, all the iron you could ever want. Now I just want to just touch that for a second. Because when we look at our culture, we see the reason why people are doing the bling and the grill and the, all the jewelry and all that stuff is because... I was in this crazy, like, hip-hop magazine. You should have seen the cover. I don't want to show you the cover. They, they featured me. It's like, I'm talking like hip-hop, like, gangster rap stuff. And I'm the feature thing in there. I don't know. I just show up to these things. Well, the reason why we have all of that outer stuff is because we're missing those minerals on the inside. The reason why we're going after wealth out there somewhere is because we're missing something on the inside. And that the real treasures are right in that soil and that are gifted to us by those plants. And the great plants, the superfoods, like goji berry, like cacao, like maca, like the marine phytoplankton, like the spirulina, like the blue-green algae, like the bee pollen. The real stuff is where the golden coins are to be found. And when you take that stuff in, you realize what real wealth is. Because there is a connection between the mineralization of the soil and the mineralization of our body and our overall feeling state and our overall wealth health equation. It's all completely connected. And when we look at cacao, the number one mineral deficiency in our country right now is magnesium. Cacao, raw chocolate, is the number one source of magnesium. I mean, nothing else is even close. It just obliterates everything. It's also the second thing that we're most deficient in, which is chromium. Cacao is the highest source of that also. And then third is iron, and cacao is the highest source of that also. And then if you look at the feeling states that we're in most of the time, which is other than totally happy. <laughs> Something different than totally ecstatic to be alive. What's the word they use? It's some it begins with a D. So, what was that? De, de, what was it? Depression. 